dry screwdriver. So, uh, will you need a screwdriver while you drink, watch this movie? Well, maybe, maybe not. We'll, we'll find out uh, here shortly. But uh, let's start with the IMDb plot as usual. Uh, taken in by a wealthy couple after her sudden divorce, an isolated woman spirals into a surreal nightmare of manipulation, paranoia, and betrayal. Yes, definitely a good combination of those and a reason to drink. Maybe she should have drank more instead. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, screwdriver here. Uh, get the usual out of the way. I was sent a screener to this. I know it's, uh, I think it's been out for a couple of weeks now. Um, so I'll try to keep this as spoiler free as possible. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess there might be some twists and turns here, but uh, I'll try to keep it simple. Um, definitely, definitely a thriller here. Lots of drama and, and uh, definitely some thr thrills in here. Um, basically, uh, if you're if you like psychological horror, this this might be one for you. It's not really listed as horror; it just says thriller here. Um, but if you're into the psychological stuff, uh, this is uh, probably going to be certainly one for you to consider. Um, which means, you know, it might not have been my thing. Uh, I, I'll say, you know, before I get into what's going on here, you're definitely going to want to pay attention as this movie goes along. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of uh, going back and forth and a little bit of uh, backstory there that, that you're going to want to catch. So if you're not completely paying attention, um, you definitely might, might lose a few things. Um, but anyway, you have here Emily and uh you know she she's going through a rough time and uh a divorce and, and things and you know she thought things were going good for herself but you know how life is things change and one minute you're doing good and the next you're not so uh she falls in a little bit hard times and that's when she kind of takes up with this couple and uh she knows i believe the guy was robert if i'm not mistaken yeah robert Robert and Melissa, and uh, she she knows him from, from the past. So it's not totally a complete, you know, like let's go stay with Stranger Things, uh, but, you know, maybe she had better options and, and stuff like this. And I guess this is a, a lesson that, that maybe, you know, <laughs> you should, if you've been known somebody for a long time, uh, moving in with them uh, might not be the best thing uh, after a while. Um, she, she thinks she can trust him and, and so forth, uh, but yeah, as we see this goes on, maybe not. Um, it is a little strange, and, and like I said, you, you have to watch the entire movie every you miss things. And you know, you know, as I tell you guys, a lot of times I'm working while I'm doing this. So yeah, I, I'm not going to say, you know, maybe I caught everything that, that's going on here, because uh, I really wasn't completely sure why uh robert and melissa started messing with her and you know what their end game is you, you kind of see some of that at the end when when things kind of wrap up uh but it just kind of seemed odd that that they would go because i at first i thought oh well, he's helping her but then i'm like okay maybe not and then as it further goes along you're like definitely not um and then, you know, uh, on top of that, uh, Robert and Melissa have an interesting uh, relationship as it is. So, yeah, basically, you know, you're going to see her move in, kind of get comfortable, things seem okay, and then they're not. And you're going to see them kind of mess with her a lot. You know, she thinks she can do whatever she wants, but then uh, the longer she's there, the more she cannot do, the less she can do. Um, you know, sometimes they're, they're treating her like a kid. Um, other times, you know, she thinks she has this. Every time she rebels, there's some kind of punishment. Um, they, they are definitely going to mess with her psychologically, uh, definitely make her think different things. And, uh, you know, kind of as that plays up, you're kind of wondering, you know, things that are going on in her head. You're wondering, you know, if they're really happening, is she thinking about it? Is, you know, what is, what is going on, you know, really, really, and really not? Um, like I said, there are going to be times when even Robert and Melissa have weird reactions, and there's other things going on with them as as well. So, 
Um, definitely need to pay attention to what, what is happening here. If you can't sit down and just watch the film, uh, you definitely might get lost in it. And um, yeah, it is, I, you know, I guess that pretty much sums it up without getting into too much detail and, and giving things away. Um, but yeah, they, they definitely, definitely mess her up. And, uh, you know, so if you're into the, that kind of psychological, um, like I said, I want to say always say horror, but I guess it's just listed as a thriller. But if you're into psychological thrillers, uh, this might be one for you. Um, you guys know that, you know, I like the blood and guts more, more and whatever. Um, it wasn't bad. The, the acting was certainly good. Um, and if it was not, the, the movie definitely would have failed and failed a, a lot earlier. So definitely the, the acting held up. And, you know, you just have to brace yourself. There's going to be, you know, times of lots of conversation and, and um, you know, just, just sometimes you just kind of get lost and there, there's kind of a session where, where she's sitting in front of him and, and it's almost like, uh, it, and that was another thing I was a little confused about, like almost like a doctor session with him and he was asking her questions and making her kind of, uh, you know, go down a certain path and, and, you know, prove if something was wrong or not or right. And it was just, it was a little weird. <laughs> yeah, so um, again, you know, I said it probably 10 times now, you definitely need to, to pay attention to what's going on here. Um, but yeah, definitely moments like that, you know, you, you need uh, good enough acting. And, and I think uh, they did, all three, three of the main actors, actresses here definitely pulled it off. Um, because if not, yeah, the, the movie would have been really bad. Uh, that's the thing with, with some of the psychological thrillers. Um, you know, you, you need you need some strong acting, in other words, to, to pull it off because, you know, I think, you know, in a slasher, there's, you know, it can be bad and you, whatever, but you just root for them to die sooner. Um, <laughs> but with with thrillers, you know, you, you, most likely they're not dying, especially in this kind of thing, you know, you're, you're, you, they're suffering and, and, and lots of conversation. So um, you need you need that to hold up. So. It definitely holds up. So, a little something different here. Uh, not not necessarily for me, but um, I think it's still a solid enough movie. So I'm gonna give it three pools of blood, and that is out of five. Um, so definitely worth watching if if you're into these thrillers and uh, you want to see see just someone. It, it is it's it's sad. It's sad to see someone get messed with and it's also sick on the two individuals part to have to do that to somebody um and the way it ends i you know I'll, I'll say in one final thing you know i don't want to give away the ending um you know i i don't know that i was all for the the way it ended um but it is it is what it is some you know you i guess you know with slashers you know how table games with these you're never sure what direction it can go. Um, you know, you're going to get a more happy ending, a sad ending, and or is everything going to be explained? And I, I don't know. You know, again, um, if every if I got everything that I wanted explained, but you know, like I said, it is what it is. So still, three pools of blood uh, out of five. Um, with that, horrorsgoyreviews.blogspot.com is where you can find uh, all of my reviews, written and video. Obviously, tons of video reviews uh, lately, mostly this year. Um, I will promise to write something again at some point. Um, like, subscribe, do all those things that everybody wants you to do. Uh, if not, no worries. It is okay. Uh, but please... Also, check out at least the short section of trying to keep you guys a little entertained and informed, like a combination of both. Um, some, obviously, courtesy of PromoteHorror.com um, and other just fun stuff that I'm trying. Uh, otherwise, Twitter, Facebook, still there. Uh, feel free to reach out to me for the reviews, uh, share stuff. Uh, Want to talk horror? Uh, I'm always game for that. And uh, down in the comments section, if you do get to check this out, what did you think? Um, and definitely if you're into psychological horror, horror thrillers, whatever, uh, where would you pl kind of place this one of, of recent ones? Um, I, I guess, you know, I'll throw that in here too. Well, is some of the psychological stuff we've seen lately has had, you know, a lot of other stuff going on and maybe stuff that is involved ghosts and all kinds of crazy stuff and whatever. And I think this one kind of 
stays a little more grounded for that. So don't expect any of that either. Um, you know, it is it is strictly just a manipulation and and abuse of, of Emily here. Uh, nothing, you know, too far, far out there. Um, so with that, I, I will wrap this up and catch you on the next review, horror fans.